A good pick up there of 20 yards. Uh, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack, and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Second and nine. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. A third down now. And those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. From 17 yards out. And the Rams are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead. And now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up. And he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they get their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. On second down now, it's Stanley. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Rich. And it's caught over the middle, Wilson. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this one probably not the close game you would expect or hope to see in prime time, CD. But, of course, that wasn't their intent in preparing for this one. They said they felt like their offense was ready to put up some points. And, my goodness, it has been a dominant display in front of a national audience. Yeah, they thought it. And it certainly came to fruition, didn't it? They've been dominant in so many ways in this one. If you weren't paying attention to this group before, you certainly are now after seeing this type of victory from them. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. On second down, it's Stanley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. To throw on third down, Rich. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. Let's go. 
So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll go option to the short side. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. They'll run on first down. Dent. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. He'll try again. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. A great effort there. With two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Falcons add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we haven't been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. L.A. readies for its next possession. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Throwing to start the drive. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Looking to throw, Harris. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. The offense on third down tonight, not quite 50%, four for nine. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Operating from the gun, Harris. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. Harris. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30-point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Looking to throw. Harris. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Here's Harris looking to throw on second down. Throwing right, and that's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 19. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Yeah. 
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Back to throw. Harris. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Now Harris to throw on second down. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Looking to throw. Harris. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Extra point attempt here still to come. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. That time, a nine-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Taken in at the three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. On second down now, Dent, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Dent, and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. On second down, Dent, and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. On first down, Dent down to about the 45. On second down now, Dent had a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So for Atlanta, the streak lives as they move to 13-0 now on the year. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. 
With that, we say good night from Los Angeles.